Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. For our lesson today, we're going to continue talking about how we can add with the standard algorithm. So our learning goal says I can add measurements using the standard algorithm. So let's jump in and get started. So I have some bags of beans and bag A weighs 266 grams. So I want to model that on my place value chart. So I have two hundreds, six tens, and six ones. So that is 266 grams modeled on my place value chart. Well, then I have this other bag. Let's just say it's called bag B. Um, bag B weighs 158 grams. So let's model that on our place value chart. So we have 100, five tens, and eight ones. Okay, so I'm going to add those together. So let's put that on our problem to be able to use the standard algorithm. Again, make sure you're lining your numbers up nice and neatly. Notice how I did that here for us. So we are going to start in the ones place and we have um, eight ones plus six ones. So I'm going to um, move some of these ones to make a 10. So I have seven now, eight, nine, 10. So I'm going to label that 10 down in my problem in the tens place. And then I am left with four ones. So really I had 14 ones and I renamed it as one ten four ones. So I can trade all those in for a 10. Okay. So now we're going to go over to our tens place and we can go ahead and make a 10 with using those because we know that 10 tens make a hundred. I'm going to have more than 10 for this one. So I have six, seven, eight, nine, 10. I know that I have those. I can group those and they're going to become a hundred. So I really have in my problem here, I have 10 tens on the top and two on the bottom. So that gives me 12 tens and I can rename 12 tens as 100. Notice how I'm doing that in the bottom with our standard algorithm. 100, two tens. Trade those in for a hundred and now I can add the numbers in the hundreds place. So 100 plus 100 plus 200 gives me 300, or sorry, 400. Not silly, Mrs. Walker, 400. So then also don't forget to label your unit of measure with grams. So 266 grams plus 158 grams gives you a total of 424 grams. All right, let's take a look at another one. So we have 349 plus 273. So we're going to line these up nice and neat now that we're using and adding three digit numbers, especially can get a little bit trickier if you don't line them up nice and neat. So now you're it and you guys are going to solve this problem. So go ahead and pause the video. I want you to find the sum of 400 or sorry, 349 plus 273. So pause the video, solve it on your whiteboard and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, here we go, friends. Make sure to pause if you need more time. All right, so we're gonna start in the ones place. I know that nine ones plus three ones is 12 ones. I can rename 12 ones as one ten, two ones. And now I can head over to my tens place and four tens plus seven tens plus one more 10 that's hanging out there gives me a total of 12. So I can rename 12 tens as 100, two tens. Now I move to my hundreds place, which is 300 plus 200 plus 100 gives me a total of 600. So 349 plus 273 equals 622. Did you guys get that too? All right, awesome, rock on friends. If you didn't, just go ahead and skip back just a little bit in the video and you can watch again how I solved it but we're gonna do some more practice right now. Okay, so here is our next problem. The doctor prescribed 175 milliliters of medicine on Monday and 257 milliliters of medicine on Tuesday. How much medicine was prescribed on both days? So when they're talking about a Monday and a Tuesday and they wanna know something about both days, I'm going to add those together. So I'm gonna add 175 plus 257. You guys are it again in this one. I love it. You guys are just rock stars working so hard. So go ahead and pause the video and solve 175 
plus 257. And then click play when you're ready to go over it together. All right, friends, if you need more time, make sure you click pause. Otherwise, here we go. So again, start in the ones place. I know that seven plus five will give me 12. I almost said 13, silly goose. So we'll give me 12. So I can rename 12 ones as 110, two ones. Then I move to my tens place, which is seven tens plus five tens plus one ten, which gives me a total of 13. So I have 100 and three tens is the same. 13 tens is the same as 100 and three tens. Now I'm gonna to go to my hundreds place and add that column, which gives me a total of four. Always, 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 friends, don't forget to label the unit that you're measuring in. I go back to it. You might have 432 cats. You might have 432 dogs, 432 stickers, 432 cookies. Ooh, as delicious as that might seem, you who knows what you have. So you have to make sure that you're labeling the unit that you're um, measuring with, which happens to be milliliters in this problem. So the doctor prescribed 432 milliliters of medicine on both days. So great job with that problem as well. All right, super work today, friends. You guys did an awesome job adding using the standard algorithm. You guys are rock stars with this now. Just make sure you take your time and line up your numbers as you are adding. Um, please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete for your independent practice. As always, please let me know if you need any help. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends. Mm -hmm.